Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Grace Minute. Thank you guys for jumping on and being with us today. Uh, I pray that you guys are having an amazing, uh, uh, had an amazing weekend and a great start to the week. Uh, today, I want to talk to you to talk to you about being content. Uh, oftentimes, when we when we look at being content or we hear about being content, uh, it's usually in the form of uh, if you're in lack, uh, be content with lack or uh, you know, if you're sick, well, people may say, well, be content. Uh, at least you're not dead. <laughs> and usually it's being understanding of being content is, is usually off or being satisfied, uh, in your state of being or wherever you are. But I want to kind of give some clarity to what, it, what does it mean to be content according to what the scripture says. And I pray that this has, this encourages you, uh, and what you should be content about in Hebrews 13, and five verse five and six it says in the new uh, the NIV version it says keep yourselves keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have because God has said never will I leave you never will I forsake you verse six so we say with confidence the Lord is my helper I will not be afraid what can man do to me so it says be content. And if you don't, if you just read the first part of that scripture in verse five, that he says, "Hey, don't don't have love for money, stay free from the love of money, and be content." So if you don't have, if you're broke, uh, if you you are in lack, and you don't have enough, be content with not enough. But you have to continue to read the whole scripture and, and understand it in its proper context. He says. Be content with what you have because God has said that never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. So be content with God is with you. And because God is with you, uh, if you look at verse 6, he said, the Lord is my helper. We say this with confidence. Why? Because I'm content with the presence of God with me. I'm content with He, the fact that he has promised me that he will never leave me nor forsake me. And because he will never leave me nor forsake me. I will never be in lack in any area of life. Praise God. And so I encourage you, yes, be content, but be content with the fact that God said, I will never leave you, nor for, will I forsake you. And, and all things are created through him and for him. So therefore, you will never go without the things you need to live on this earth. Uh, praise God. That's good news. Amen. Be content with Christ. Be content with the fact that he's with you and he'll never leave you nor forsake you. Uh, God bless you guys. I pray that this has blessed you and encouraged you, uh, that it is good to be content, uh, but be content with God's with you. Uh, we love you and we'll see you soon. Take care. God bless.